Alright guys, welcome back. This tutorial we're going to go over uh, basic collectibles. These can be whatever type of collectible you want them to be, it doesn't matter. It can be customized. Anyway, let's get into it. So, let's actually create a new folder in the blueprints. And we're going to call this collectibles. <clears throat> Also, of note, in the top left here, if you ever need to see what button I'm pressing, uh, just look up there. A little application showing what, I, what I'm pressing. Uh, okay, so inside of collectibles, we want to create a master class actor, and we'll call this BP. Um. We'll do collectible master. Now yeah, let's we'll drop this bad boy in there. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna want a few variables and a few things to add in here. One, we're gonna want a static mesh. If you want a skeletal mesh or whatnot, go ahead and add that as well. Oh, I'm not gonna add a static mesh, I'm actually gonna add a sphere. That's what I want. Let's see how big that actually is. All right, let's scale that down to like 0.65. Hmm, about 0.7. Yeah, that works. Okay, then we're gonna add a sphere collision. This will be called the collection. Or, you know, we'll call this the follow radius. And I'm going to add another sphere collision, and this will be called the collection radius. Okay, so follow radius, you'd want some like, I don't know, 128, eh, maybe a little bit bigger, 200. Yeah, that works. Uh, and collection radius, you just want it as big as that, so. 39, 39 works. Okay, so for follow radius, right, we're gonna want to go down here <coughs> to on component begin overlap. And here we're gonna want to do a quick little branch. And we just want to make sure that other actor, which is the actor that is collided with it, uh, oops, no, that's not what I want. We actually want to get class. We want to do that and then we're gonna do an equal and we're gonna make sure that the class of the actor that hits it is the same one as our Rayman pawn which is called Rayman pawn and if that is true let's make a event we'll call this follow and we will get world location. It doesn't matter if we just because we're just going to plug this into here. Yeah, we can leave this target. Um, shit, no, not target. But we don't want that. We actually want to do other actor and we want to promote it to a variable that way when we uh, that way we can uh, reference this actor let's uh, quickly name it we'll call this uh, target alright we want this is world location oops get actor location we want actor location not world location um then we want to do that again but this time we're going self and we want to v interp to and the target would be you know the players world location 
then all we gotta do is set actor location and for delta time we drag that out and we can type world get world delta seconds and for interp speed you can do whatever you want i'm gonna do like uh 1.4 i don't know that seems good now we can test it out at the end of this we want to do a set timer by function name we want to type exactly this in so if you want just copy the name and paste it into here and we want to set time to 0 0.01 and we might be able to get away with like 0 0.05 or something I didn't mean to type in 0 0.056 oops it, what I swear I'm not pressing 6 okay anyway we got our player upon and we got that let's see Okay, the enter may be too slow. So it's something like three. Okay. I guess point zero five is also let's do point zero two. It doesn't need a point zero one. I think that's calling too much yeah, there we go. And if you don't want the camera colliding that you can uh go into this I mean, you probably want to make this no collision anyway. Yeah. Then, boom. You get your collectible that follows you. Okay, now we want it to actually pick up, right? So, what we're going to do for that. Is we're going to make a variable we'll call this uh, amount and we're gonna make it an integer and we're gonna make it expose on spawn and editable uh, default amount I don't know 10 right. yeah we'll do 10 I guess we'll uh, make it like a score system like Rayman 3 uh, okay uh, now what we want to do is we want to make an interface so let's do that blueprint interface right here I like to start it with BPI that way it's easier to find the list and we'll call this collectible interaction okay this function we'll call it add score I think that's all we need for now we'll make a oops that's not naming we'll make it an integer and we'll call it amount okay now all we need to do is on the collection radius we need to scroll down begin overlap and here we do exactly this again well actually we don't need to do that all we gotta do now actually is just equals uh, target and if that is true we take target and we say um, score add score and amount and we can do destroy actor and this is where you would add a sound effect for pickup and whatnot. Alright. That would be the collectible done. Okay, yeah, cool. Now you can set this wherever you want. And whatnot. And they should work. And you can change the speed all you want and to make if you want multiple different types of collectibles uh, you can go in here right click this and create child blueprint we can call this BP I don't know um, green gem and we can go 
to set amount. Three hundred and for the sake of this we can Right, okay, don't change the shape of that. Uh, give it I don't know a material. That's just some random material that the game has. And then you can place this around, you get you know, a green collectible that works exactly the same, but instead of the 10 score, it gives 300. Uh, now, we can work on the player controller part of things. We want to open a full blueprint editor and we want to create a variable. We'll call this score. And for future videos, we're going to see, there's a little arrow, show advanced, click on that. You're gonna wanna, you see this save game, you're gonna wanna check that. So it serializes the uh, variable. Okay, so let's set up an event in here, and it'll just be add score. Um, later down the line, we might integrate this with the uh, score, the combo score system video. But for now, it's gonna be pretty basic. That's it, that's literally all. Oh, oops, no, that's not what we want. We want to add to the score. We don't just want to set it to that score there. Okay. And that's that's all we need for that stuff. That's literally it. Uh, now we need to go into the pawn, back into this, and we need to uh, one, we need to go to class settings, right? And we need to implement collectible interaction. And you'll see this little drop down thing here interfaces now. You see, you got add score, you can implement that. All you gotta do now is get going for controller. Right, we can literally just do this again. This is much more efficient than just casting to it, which a lot of videos like to do. So we're not done with the player controller. I actually completely forgot about that step. Uh, we can go in here, class settings, API, collection, collectible interaction. We'll have the interface, implement, and we can just say add score. And we do a mount, oop, wait. Yes. And for, I don't know, visual aid, we'll just do a print string of the current score. Right. Uh, rename this to something else. This just stands for adds a player character score rather than what it was before. And this should work now. Let's go collect some collectibles. We got 10. We got 20, we got 30, we got 330, we got 640 at the end of that, and that's what we should have. So oh yeah, that's uh, that's it for the collectibles. Uh, next video, we'll work on a uh, UI, which will display the uh, score, and we'll also add a... Uh, 
health system as well as a, a his uh, hover but uh, that's it for this video uh, if you like the video hit the thumbs up if you didn't uh, hit the thumbs down but uh, see you guys next video